Right, hey. before I get into this clip, um, I'll just let you know a little bit about the cane country. So people that don't hunt cane all the time will happen to hunt a lot of different places. Same as any, any sort of crop or anything like that, different places it gets bigger or smaller pigs. So uh, I started hunting this cane block probably about seven years ago maybe. And uh, when we first started, we pulled, have to be close to 10 tonners out of it in the first year. We were just pulling tonners flat out like you wouldn't believe. And as much as they're bigger, older, craftier pigs, when there's a few around and uh, you know where to get onto them, uh, some of those big fat pigs just, they can't run like younger pigs. So uh, a lot of the time they were the first ones the first ones to to go so and you can also hear them crashing through the cane a lot a lot easier than um, some of the smaller pigs so it's a lot easier to hear them coming or figure out where they're going so uh, we pretty much wiped out the majority of the tunners in the first first year or two that we were hunting this place and uh, since then we'd be lucky to get one or two tunners a year so uh, yeah just wiped out wiped out the bigger pigs I guess and uh, yeah, in the general general area from other hunters and that that um, hunt farms nearby and whatnot, a lot of them won't get a tonner for a whole year either. Um, if they do, might not be many. And uh, although occasionally every few years you hear of an absolute stonker coming out, um, it's very rare. So uh, yeah, any pig, well, 90 kilos and above around the cane that I hunt is an absolute cracker. And uh, yeah, this pig was right up there. absolutely no thrill or no satisfaction out of shooting a wild dog um, the thing is my choice is this if I don't shoot the wild dog and the farmer sees a few around or uh, they push his cattle through the fence and so forth which is one had actually been doing uh, the alternative choice is for him to put 1080 bait out to try and get them so uh, have you ever seen what 1080 bait does um, probably the only sort of uh, good feeling I get about shooting a wild dog is the feeling that the thing didn't have to suffer through the effects of a 1080 bait. So uh, that's the reason that I shoot them. strongly this way or could potentially drive up each sort of bit and have a bit of a look but yeah I don't really just oh there's a got him Now I seriously, seriously, seriously dislike shooting dogs. I hate it. But the thing about shooting these dogs is if 
if I don't shoot them and they're around and the farmer sees any sort of damage to the stock, next thing there's 1080 out. It's a horrible way for them to die. Much worse than what this was. And yeah, it's just not good, so. Yeah. Means that I can't hunt either. Um, more pigs in his crops, everything. So, yeah, anyway. It's four bug out to go. Righto guys, after that uh, wild dog I hunted on for a couple of hours and uh, it had gone dark, it was about 7.30, 8 o'clock when, uh, yeah, finally got a bit of interest and uh, the dogs took off into the cane. Dogs are 60 metres in, 70 metres in. I don't want to start the car or anything to hit him. <laughs> 90 meters. 100 meters. <coughs> Just I'm halfway down the whole paddock, which is 200 meters across and probably 800 meters long. And they're 110 meters straight in to the middle of it. I'm going to have to go there. 130. I'm going to get to the other side of this. These are cracking pigs. I should have just demolished it then. Hey guys, I'm going 
guys. Unfortunately for you, I took the second shot in the dark, as I um, still see the bore under moonlight. So uh, on the GoPro, you obviously cannot. Where is he? Yeah, I've got him. You beauty. Good dogs. That found him in the long grass. Yes. Good dogs. Oh, he's a thumper. Hey. Oh, he, oh no, I didn't get you. Yep, 2506, two of them. Pretty sure I'll smack on him. You boy, good dog. Oh, he is wide! Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but he is an absolute beauty. An absolute beauty. Oh. Good dog. Okay. Now I'm going to just try and put these dogs away so I should ride the nearby and try and get this pig out and yeah and we'll weigh him up if I can get him on the ute somehow I gave my old man a call as he doesn't live too far away and he came out and uh, gave me a hand to get this decent pig on the back of the ute so uh, yeah and I headed round to his place to use the car winch to lift him up and see how he went <laughs> I move forward a bit and then hopefully it doesn't come off. Yeah, I'll just roll forward a bit so it's on a bit flatter ground. Oh, it's got to be 100 ish, I reckon. Look how long with it. I'm just running my winch out and chuck it over this tree and weigh this pig. I'm guessing live. Pig to guess, it's got a big ass on. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. I got a zero on first. Right? Wait up, I got a zero on first. All right, guys. Go and have a look. Murphy's law, it has to face exactly the opposite way. Let go of it. It's 25. <laughs> 108. Yeah, 24. 108 kilos. Yeah, that's not very heavy. That is a stonker. <laughs> you ripper. That's bigger than any I got last year. Let it go. Let it go. Ah, oh, the bloody thing. Murphy's law. Anyway, there you go. 100 and. Let it go. 108.85 was the second piece. Yeah, sir. Stop trying. 108. Say 108.4 for me. Bloody corker. Cheers, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this clip. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, just helps me to keep the videos coming. Have a good day, guys.